Today I'm going to demonstrate the use of the 170 pound furnace for sand casting over a convex surface. These bowls are poured upside down over a convex mold made of sand. This one here has an image of seaweed and a small water turtle and as you can see the, the image is an embossed raised image on the bottom side of this bowl. So I'll go through the steps to show the preparation of the mold and the pouring of the glass. So the, the sand that I use is white silica sand and it's four different particle sizes all mixed together and about maybe nine percent bentonite clay powder and the clay powder uh, adds a little bit of um, a little bit of adhesion to it so that it packs a little bit tighter and and stays packed when it's being used now this is um, it's black now because this sand is it's about 15 years old I mixed this sand up in 1996 and it's now 2010 so this sand has been used so many times now that it's picked up carbon from the process but it does start out as uh, white silica sand. And the reason why I use silica sand is that this is natural glacial erosion, so the particles are actually round. They're, they look a little bit like um, um, irregular shaped marbles. So because there's four different sizes, it packs really tightly. If you can imagine a jar full of large marbles, there would be lots of spaces in between all the marbles, but if there was several different sizes of marbles, they would pack much tighter. Lots of metal foundries use olivine sand, which is uh, uh, more of a, a square particle shape, so it resembles more like a, a sugar cube than a marble. And I, I prefer the silica sand. I just think that it packs a little bit better for my use. So to make a sand cast bowl, first you need the patterns, the positive patterns that you want to get back in the resulting glass. So I'm using this wooden salad bowl, and I'm going to put this cedar leaf in the salad bowl, and I'm going to put a plastic uh, kid's toy, a little plastic beetle, on top of the uh, on top of the leaf. Like that. And because it, there's a little bit of uh, spring to the leaf, I have to hold it down when I start to pack the sand. It takes way more sand than you can ever possibly imagine. So I've packed it very tight. There's no there's no movement there at all. And now there's a little bit of a hump here, so I have to shave it off with this piece of metal. Now I'll put this board on top and turn the whole thing over and then take out the patterns. So I'm going to lift this leaf out very carefully with tweezers. And then I'm going to get my critter out very carefully. And I'm going to give it a good sharp blow to blow off the little pieces of sand that are sitting on the surface. It's important not to touch it. If I was to touch that with my finger, then I would disturb the packing of the sand and the raised particles would adhere to the glass when the glass gets poured on top. So the idea here is to 
is to leave it as packed as tightly as possible so the glass can't attach to it anywhere. There, that sand is packed so tightly, the surface is shiny smooth. That's exactly what I want, so that I get a nice shiny smooth surface on the resulting glass casting. 